Good morning, South Aiken. Uh, I know it's been a while, but once again, my name is Sam Full. I'm the principal here at South Aiken High School. Um, we're in homeroom today, and I just want to make sure I take a moment to greet you all and just talk to you really briefly. Today, uh, our goal is for you all to take the school climate survey for South Aiken High School. Our goal is to have 90% of you complete this survey. This does not count as a grade, does not count against you, but I want to go ahead and make sure I explain a little bit about what this survey is and why it's so important and why we want 90% of you all to complete this survey. Now, every year, um, schools are rated and ranked and receive a report card based on a multitude of different things, many different things. Uh, one thing that we 25% of our report card is based on is our seniors graduation rate. Another 25% is based on how many students are college and career ready. Another 25% is for those seniors, what they scored or how they prepared on their ELC tests. Those are all different areas of a report card. Another area of the, um, that goes on our report card is how well students who native language is not English, how well do they do and how well do they progress? Um, and then lastly, another area that's on our report card is this school climate survey. All right. And I want to make sure I just express to you how important it is that you take this survey seriously because of how it does help us fare as a school. Now, last year for 2022, um, the 2021-22 school year, South Aiken scored good on our school report card. There are five ratings. There's unsatisfactory, there's below average, there's average, there's good, and there's excellent. Only one high school, Aiken Scholars Academy, scored excellent as far as in Aiken County scored excellent on their school report card. We scored excellent in the past on our school report card, um, but this year we fared good in the, um, for this past year. We would love to get back to the excellent rating, but one area in which we definitely want to show improvement upon is how we fared in our school um, climate. All right. So one thing about school climate, it's going to ask you a number of different questions. It's going to ask you 18 questions in regards to the learning environment, uh, 25 questions in regards to social and physical environment, and then eight questions in regards to homeschool relations. Now, I know when you all hear that learning environment, social and physical environment, and homeschool relations, you're going to think, oh, wow, this is not important, or this is what I think, and I totally understand that, okay? Totally understand it. So a couple of questions in regards to learning environment are, my teachers expect students to learn. Another one, my classes are interesting and fun. Another one, the media center at my school has a good selection of books. All of those things are uh, just some of the questions in regards to learning environment. But social and physical environment, all right, the hallways at my school are kept clean. The rules for behavior are enforced at my school. I have been bullied at school during a school day. Adults at my school prevent bullying from happening. Those are some questions in regards to social and physical environment. And then homeschool relations. Uh, my parent knows what I'm expected to learn in school. Parents at my school know their children's homework assignments. Parents are welcome at my school. Those are questions that, again, uh, are just a sample of some of the things that you're going to be asked. Now, I am not telling you, let me be clear about this. I am not telling you I want you to rate us at the top tip top of where we are and what you uh, of where the ratings are. I don't want you to fudge or fake what our ratings are. But I do want you to be honest and think about these questions and think about them honestly. Because last year, South Aiken received an unsatisfactory rating in as regards to school climate. Okay, we received an unsatisfactory rating in regards to school climate. And I truly do not believe that we have an unsatisfactory school climate. Example of that, there are eight high schools in Aiken County OK, and many other schools throughout the state. There are 1,300 and we fluctuate between 1,340, 1,360 students throughout the year. OK, we fluctuate between that. And there are very few schools in Aiken County, none in Aiken County and very few schools statewide that have the student body and the personnel to have one lunch for all students. 
that is a testament to how you all behave. That is a testament to the trust that we put in you all as a student body. That is a testament to the efforts that we've put in as a school to ensure a safe learning environment to where we can have one lunch, to where all students have the opportunity to interact during that time. That is a major deal that not everybody can say. So when we see an unsatisfactory learning, when we see an unsatisfactory score in our school climate, I'm confused. So again, I don't want you to fudge the numbers. I don't want you to fake, but I want you to think honestly and say, hmm, how, <clears throat> how do I really feel about South Aiken? Do we have a brand new school? Absolutely not. Do we have some things that need to be fixed? That very much so. Are there some things that are wrong with our school? Absolutely. That's a school in general. But I'm going to show you this. I'm going to share my screen. All right. And I hope you all can see that. OK. And if you look on the screen, there were one two, three, four, five, six schools rated above us in regards to um, school climate and those ratings. And as you can see, there's an excellent, there's a good, there are two averages, there's a below average. And then there's another unsatisfactory school that was rated in the school climate above us. And then you have South Aiken, okay? I don't feel like that is a fair assessment of how we feel about our school ourselves as a school. OK, there are again, are there things that are wrong and things that could be improved? Absolutely. But do we really feel like we're an unsatisfactory climate? I don't think so. So when you go to take this survey, look at the questions, answer them honestly. But this is also our school. We talked about a collect collective culture of cleanliness, collective culture of taking care of ourselves. We talk about all those things on a day in, day out basis. We talk about being on time. We talk about college and career readiness. We talk about the four E's of employability, um, enrollment in the four, two or four year college institution, entrepreneur. We talk about enlistment. We talk about all those things and we want to make sure that all means all. So when you're looking at the survey, look at it from that honest point of view. Some may say, you know what? Our school isn't this compared to this. But like I said, very few schools of, of similar size all throughout the state can offer some of the things that we offer to our student body and the resources and the support and the atmosphere that our students receive. 1300 plus students, one lunch. That is because of you and your efforts and your behaviors and your actions. That is because of the trust that we know that we can put in you that you've earned as well as other things. Uh, uh, the way we handle certain processes or procedures to make sure that the main thing is kept the main thing, which is teaching and learning, and you are learning on a day-in, day-out basis. So, once again, the directions will be passed along to you all in order to how to complete the survey. Take time, look at it, think about it, and answer honestly and truthfully. And again, I say, I don't believe we have an unsatisfactory climate, and I think you all do too. And let's make sure that we answer honestly to where we know and have a true reflection of who we are as a school. Remember, it's every thoroughbred, every day, all means all.